my friend who preceded me talk about the reduction in tariff exports. Well, guess what? Uh, that'll be blown away if uh, they manipulate their currency. And Korea is one of only three nations on earth identified as a currency manipulator by our own U.S. Treasury. Does this agreement preclude currency manipulation? No, it does not. Secondly, uh, they rebate their national taxes, a value-added tax, to all their exports. Build a car in Korea, you don't have to pay taxes in Korea. Guess what? Build a car in the U.S., we can't rebate the taxes under these crummy trade laws we've bound ourselves to. And when the U.S. car gets to the border of Korea, they have to pay a 10% tax. So we're going to be able to export autos to Korea if uh, they're 20% cheaper than those produced by cheaper labor in Korea. Not very likely, but let's say we could do that. There are a couple other problems. If you buy a U.S. car and you're a Korean citizen, they will audit your taxes. And most employers do not allow owners of foreign automobiles, which are mostly luxury automobiles over there, uh, there are very few foreign automobiles, to have parking spaces at work. And Korea does not buy very many cars. Uh, they have a 65% mix. 65% of the cars they produce are exported. This is not about U.S. exports to Korea. Once again, it's a platform for them to send us stuff here that's cheaper and displace American jobs. Even the U.S. International Trade Council, the wildest cheerleader in the world for all these failed agreements, says we're going to have a bigger deficit in autos. These are the same people who said we were going to have huge trade surpluses with Mexico. Oops, kind of wrong. They can't even mess around with this and pretend we're going to benefit from this. $300 million, they say, of additional auto exports to Korea. $1.7 billion of more auto exports from Korea to the U.S. And that's with the cheerleaders talking. Imagine what the real numbers are going to be like. We're talking about 160,000 to 200,000 U.S. jobs. Kiss the remainder of the auto industry and auto parts. Goodbye with this agreement. Gentlemen's time has expired. The gentleman from